what we've got in the box is the AL209 base kit. So we'll have a look at it first. So take everything out of the protective packaging, have a quick look. Um, you can keep everything in the box. Uh, it's good for staining or just keeping everything together. But yeah, the neck looks fine, the body. Here's all the parts for the build and the instructions, which we'll cover in the video. So let's crack on with uh, building it. So we've assembled everything here on a bench that we're going to need for the time being. So we'll put the neck to one side. Now what I've done here is I've pre-drilled holes for the bridge. This is calculated with uh, scale length. So if you look in the instruction guide, it'll give you the scale length. Then if you measure from the nut to where the saddles are on the bridge, and then mark that up with a pencil and drill the holes so you give some nice guide holes for the screws to go in and you can just pop the bridge on like I have and it'll be perfectly aligned. So when you're doing this you want to just make sure that really you're checking that it's not really going on at a weird angle you're trying to get it straight so I'm going in one corner with the other just locking the corners in. So yeah, I'll just quickly speed time here, so there's no need to watch each screw go in individually. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just sort of putting in, it's not really much of an effort, it's a simple thing to do. I've only needed a screwdriver so far, and well, a ruler and a pencil to do that. I've pre-drilled the holes here for the tuning pegs to go in. Again, just putting those in the hole, marking it with the pencil, pre-drilling. Now I can just drill them straight in, as you can see, simple enough. Once they're in, they're locked in. Second one. Now these are marked for which side is for which. So yeah, once they're on, uh, I've decided to put them on at this angle. You could put them on straight, but I thought I'd put them on this angle because then they're all a little bit closer to your hand. Um, once they're secured in place, we can go ahead and flip it around and attach the top portion of the tuners. So here we go, we're just going to put the washers on, one washer per each tuner, and then they simply screw down onto there. So I'm doing that by hand, but again I'll just fast forward, there's no need for us to sit here while I do this. Yeah, just doing a finger tight at the moment, but I will finish it off. It's just it's just so that they're on, so I can check the alignment of everything. But and you know, once they're on, we're going to pop the truss rod cover on. So again, pre-drilled the holes. It's really important you pre-drill all the holes to avoid any splitting uh, in the wood. So this this one could be a little bit tricky just because the alignment you can't really do it properly, you know, visually. So I actually put the nut in place uh, and then put the uh, truss rod cover over and drill it in or mark it up and then drill the holes and then you know, remove the nut and then put the truss rod cover on like I have here. That's fine, that's nicely finished there. So now we'll just go to the wiring section uh, and installation of the pickups. Again, this is actually another video um, in the series of how to wire this base up so check that video out but it's a rather funny time lapse of me putting the pickups in pretty simple though screws they need springs on <laughs> to uh, stop the pickup just falling all the way down to the bottom so we sort of drilled that in roughly finished that off what we're setting it up all the cables are just going through the cavities. This is all shown in the other video. Um, but yep, yeah, once they're in, it's going to go and do the same method here. Screws through some springs. All are in the bag that's supplied. Simple enough. Drain those down. I guess you've got to be careful here. You know, as this is just a bare wood body, if you if you've got dirty hands or anything you can end up marking the body with your hands and it could be a bit of a pain to get rid of but yeah this is the wiring again um, quite simple because 
this has been covered in the in the video previously. Um, but yeah, I'm just soldering it all together here, and it's quite a straightforward process, really. Make sure you know your soldering iron's clean and to the right heat. Um, that you're making sure that you're tinning all the wires before you actually do solder anything in place, just to help uh, make sure it sticks. Um, I know this looks like I'm literally just tapping these on there, but I, you know I am actually only tapping them on there. Um, I'm not holding them on there for very long, not applying any pressure or heat, but. There we go, that's the main electronics done there. I think I'll just feed them through, get it all sorted, and uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next part. So yeah, now here we are. We flipped the base over at the front. So we're pulling the earthing cable through, and we're making sure that that's actually down there. It's hanging off, as you can see. We're going to pop the bridge over the top. I'm just going to pop these in with my fingers for the second there, and then drill them down. What that's doing is actually that's that's grounding the strings, um, so that you're actually grounded to the instrument as well, which is good. You know, it cancel cancels out harm. So you know, sometimes you might notice if you leave your instrument, it makes a noise. That's generally due to either an earthing issue or if they're single coil pickups then they will make a noise and you've got a single coil on this so anyway again this is pretty straightforward just making sure that they're drilled in I've already pre-drilled these in so they're just slipping in to the to the drill holes easy enough not having to apply any real pressure to it just letting them catch and they're pulling their way own way in. Well, that's because we pre-drilled the base on earlier just to make sure, uh, the bridge on earlier, just to make sure it all really fitted nicely. Okay, and now that's done. So, now it's time to fit the neck. Now, everything else is on the body. We just need to get the neck on now. Now that literally will just fit in there don't want to slide it in you want to put it in like that lay it down gently into the slot put the plate on make sure it's the right way around and pop the screw in so I'll just pop one to hang it there and I'll pop another one here and I'll get the drill and we'll just drill the neck on through the holes the reason I'm doing it the top and the bottom is so that it's anchored on there properly. Um, doesn't matter if one pops off, that's not a problem. And then we do the other one, and that's now pulling the neck in place, so it's not going to move. It's uh, anchored on either side, one at the top and one at the bottom as well. Um, so yeah, we just do the rest of the... the there we go. So just tighten them all up and it's done. So now we're just going to string it up. I'm sure everyone knows how to string up. If they don't, the strings go through the bottom here. To do now, just sorting them all out. There we go. And there we go. String it through. It's pretty simple. Just pull it through. Make sure that it's the right string. There we go. We're just taking them through. And then we go up to the headstock and pop them through there. And then you get to cut them off and stick them around there. Tighten them up. And that one. Tighten it up. Get that one and tighten that one up. and the bass is ready to play once all the strings are on. If you followed all the steps in the instructions and in the video, you should have a playable bass. <laughs> 